What's up guys, RisePal95 here, we're back with a brand new video on the channel and it's another player review and it is Squad Foundation's Jefferson Lerma, the Bournemouth Columbian centre mid. Looks a very decent card to be fair. He's very well rounded for a CDM, I haven't been to centre mid because I don't play with CDM. But he's 5 foot 10, medium high defensive work rates with 4 star skill moves, uh, 3 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot. His actual stats, he's 85 rated, 78 pace which is pretty decent. 72 shooting, 81 passing, 81 dribbling, 83 defending and 87 physical. It's a very well rounded card. I've whacked a shadow on him to improve his defending and pace. And yeah, his actual attribute details, they're all in the greens which is fantastic. He's got a 77 acceleration and 79 sprint speed. Shooting is not the best but he's got a lot of shot power and 80 long, uh, long shots which is good for a centre mid. Passing wise, 74 vision, 75 crossing, 74 free kicks, just standard stats. He's got 87 short passing, 86 long passing and 75 curve. Dribbling wise, pretty good to be fair. 82 agility, 84 balance, 79 reactions, 83 ball control with 79 dribbling and 80 composure. So overall, pretty happy with that. Defending wise, which is his main, well one of his main stats, 85 interceptions which is vital for CDM with 82 defensive awareness, 85 standing and 84 slide and tackle. And finally physical, he's got 93 jumping, 89 stamina, 81 strength and 79 aggression which makes him aggressive. Player traits, he dives into tackles, he's a long passer and a long shot taker. So I'm expecting him to be a proper solid CDM, well centre mid, and we'll see how he does in my championship side with three Prem players as you can see. But I've got a lot of special cards which I love to use. So yeah, we'll get into a few games and we'll see how he plays. So, Squad Foundations Jefferson Lerma is a powerful um, centre mid. He is fantastic at those intercepting, staying back, stopping a counter attack kind of player. But he does also like to attack, which is interesting for the kind of card he is, because he hasn't got the best finishing. Um, he had a few long shots, he's got decent shot power, but none of them really troubled the keeper. He did score one, he went for like an aggressive run through the midfield and decent finish but that's not his strong points. Strong points are stamina, he can run all game whether it's the first minute or 90th minute he's always running. Strength, he can outstrength most players because he's quite big, stocky and he's the kind of player you don't want to uh, get in the way of. Uh, and then passing, he can play it short or long, he's got that good range of playing it one twos or spreading it to the wingers. Um, and tackling, he's there, he always puts a foot in, he always makes the important tackle, which is what you want from a CDM slash centre mid, or defensive centre mid, which is what I love. A few cons, he's not the fastest, so when he is, you might find him in those odd spots or trying to chase back, he does sometimes miss out, which is frustrating, but not dilemma. And then dribbling, obviously he's not a nimble player on his feet, he can be quite clunky and turns like a crane and all that kind of stuff, so... Overall, he's a very good defensive card. I wouldn't get him if you were thinking of putting him attacking wise. Um, obviously, he's free because he's an objective. And then similar players like Kante, Inform Suchek, and What If Leroy Fur. So, yeah, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll be back with another player review shortly.